Hey y'all, welcome to South Kakalaki. I am here today with my cousin Trisha and I thought it would be fun to do an interview because she has the most adorable Southern accent that I have heard. So thank you so much for being here, You're Trisha. You're welcome, thanks for having me. So you moved from Michigan to South Carolina when you were nine years nine old. Nine years old, yes. What are some of the biggest differences that you notice from the North to the South? Um, it's pretty culture shocking when you come from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, as you yes. know. Um, schools were different. I couldn't get used to the accent when we first moved here. Um, just the whole place looks different. The nature, the, the red dirt, the mountains, the food, the good Southern cooked food. I wasn't used to any of that. Mm -hmm. Um, and just the way that they do things, you know, mm -hmm. um, it, mm -hmm. I think going to public school, really public school in South Carolina really introduced me and to all these different, you know, <laughs> welcome to the South. Yeah. <laughs> you know. yeah. Wow. So coming from the North to the South, what are some of the biggest slang words that you say or hear other people say? Um, so definitely y'all like um, you guys, like you guys definitely. I said, cut the lights on or cut the lights off. Which is like, turn on the lights, turn off the lights. I reckon. I reckon. Like, yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, yep. yep. <laughs> yes. Yep. Um, yeah. Bless your heart. Oh, yeah. Yep. Bless your heart is like, <laughs> bless you. Or I feel like people use that if they're wanting to gossip about somebody. That's more so what they use it for. Yeah. yeah. So they'll be like, oh, did you hear about that, Timmy? He he went and got bless her pregnant. Her yeah, bless their heart. It's not really a good thing. You don't want yeah. to. You don't want that to be said about you. Yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> yeah. a good point. Yeah. yeah. Britches. Oh yeah, pants. Yep. Yes. Pants. So you wake up in the morning. You used to hearing your mom say, "Go put your britches on. <laughs> get ready for school." Yes. Yep. Pants. Yeah. <laughs> Those are some good ones. There are so many slang words that they use in the South. I forget. It's it's pretty funny, and <laughs> I think it's kind of shocking when you first move down here too. It is because you're you're not familiar with these words. It's just a different. It's just a different way of life everywhere you go. Yeah. So. Yeah. Wow. Well. The South also has many varieties of food that is so different from mm -hmm. the North. Yes. Um, have you cooked Southern foods? Do you like to cook Southern foods? Definitely, I do. That's probably what I cook more so, I would say. One of my favorites is Low Country Boil. Okay. Um, what that is, is con That has potatoes, um, sausage, corn on the cob, shrimp. You can add some crab legs in it um, with some Old Bay seasoning, garlic butter, all that good stuff mixed together. Wow. Um, it just makes for a, a great feast if you're, you know, having a lot of friends over mm -hmm. or very, um, very Southern, very Southern. Yeah. If Trisha has a recipe, I can link it below. Yes, I can get that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you guys, if you want to try some true Southern food, that sounds amazing. Um, we, I love uh, chicken and dumplings. I love, love cooking that. I love uh, country fried steak, biscuits okay. and gravy, grits. Um, wow. All that good stuff that I never liked until I moved here. Yeah. I've never even heard of half exactly <laughs> because you don't know it exists until right. you're here it's <laughs> true yeah yep. do you have any funny like miscommunications with the southern accent from when you moved from the um, north definitely so there were a few times that we would get calls to our house we first moved to north carolina mm -hmm. and somebody would call and say hey i'm uh looking for ron and we had no clue who Ron was. So we just kept saying, you got the wrong number. Well, the call didn't stop. And eventually we realized they were looking for my brother, Ryan. Oh, yes. But with their Southern accent, his name was Ron. So that took some adjusting. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Do you call him Ron now because uh, of that? From time to time, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he knows what we're talking about. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, it seems like with your talents in cooking that you could have opened up a restaurant here, but what you did open up about eight months ago was your barber shop, which was nominated in the top six barber shops in the area, which is incredible. Congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. What is the name of your shop? My shop is called the Edge Barber Shop. And what inspired you to open the Edge? Um, I have always had a passion for doing men's hair specifically. Um, I love doing fades. I love using the straight razor. I love um, shaving. 
I love helping my girls. I love training people on new skills, new techniques when it comes to haircuts. Um, yeah. You know, I, I just, I love helping people and making people feel good about themselves. Yeah. It's just always been a dream of mine to open this shop and, That's and I amazing. finally did. That's incredible. What is a fade? <laughs> So a fade is a haircut. It's a very clean haircut. Um, it can be even a military haircut. Um, okay. It's typically anytime you take the clippers and go from skin uh -huh. up, mm -hmm. um, you know, as much length as you want on top, it's just the skin fade from the skin up and you blend it in with the clippers, clip over comb with your guards. Yeah, okay, very interesting. So you're a very busy woman. What do you do if you have a free moment? What do you like to do? Any Southern things that you enjoy? Um, so I used to have a lot more free time before I opened a business, before I had a child. I spent a lot of time with my son. Yeah. Um, so so now, cute. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now I do like to host events um, at my house. Okay. I like to have my friends come to me. It's mm -hmm. easier when you have a two and a half year old. Very true. Um, so just recently I, I hosted a big Cinco de Mayo event at my house. Wow. We had some legit um, Mexican food. It was awesome. We love going to the lake in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, big group of friends like Huey, like Hartwell. Those are pretty popular places to yeah. hang out, especially in the upstate here of South Carolina. I really enjoyed having this chat here with yeah, you today. Yeah, me too. I'm glad you had me. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Absolutely. If you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment below. What was your favorite Southern expression that you learned? I would love to hear from you guys. We'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao.